The sun, though, that's the star we see most often. That one can go away. Oh, yeah, definitely. And the good thing is, as we go into this afternoon, we will see it slowly start to go away as those clouds get on the increase ahead of a chance for that. We could see some much needed rain for this afternoon as well as on your Thursday afternoon. So a little bit of good news to start off this seven day forecast. We do get back to that hot and dry weather pattern just in time for the weekend. But notice the advisory criteria heat won't be on the board here for the long term forecast. So something to definitely look forward to as you head out the door this morning. Something you won't see as you head out the door any rain. It is a quiet picture across the state of Texas. And as we take that zoom into central Texas right now, we're seeing a few clouds mainly off to our western zones, but otherwise quiet as a peep. That's exactly what we're seeing in Harker Heights right now. A beautiful picture 79 degrees the eight with the with the humidity. It's not feeling quite nice out there as well as if you're waking up in Temple 79 degrees right now. Again, that Gulf moisture moving in, making those feel like temperatures bump it up a couple of degrees. So a heat advisory in effect for every area in Central Texas right now. It's a bump down from those areas where we saw that excessive heat warning just yesterday, but we could still see those temperatures get to that sweltering degree category by the time we get into this afternoon. As we take this hour by hour, we're going to start off with mostly sunny skies, triple digit mark by the time we get into your lunch hour. But then as we roll into the afternoon, temperatures, of course, are going to get on the increase as they have the last several days. We're also going to see those clouds get on the increase as well. And that's ahead of this, our next potential weather maker where we could see some of those storms. And that's all thanks to a weak front that we're going to start to see move through here later today, mainly going to be off to our eastern areas and any showers we do see going to be isolated in nature and it's going to be rather quick. By the time we head to bed, things clear up and except for a few spotty showers that we'll see. But any rain we do get, keep in mind, could have some of those damaging wind gusts because of how hot the temperatures are going to be. Not only are we going to say have that potential for some rain for your Wednesday afternoon, but your Thursday late in the morning, we have another chance to get a round of much necessary rain and then some of our western zones could join in on the fun as well with some of those showers by the time we get into your Thursday afternoon, then by the time you head to bed on your Thursday night, look at this. We're back to that quiet picture as we head into your Friday. So once we get all said and done with this rain, rainfall told us unfortunately aren't very impressive, not picking up that inch, inch and a half as we would like to see because of that drought situation. But hey, something is better than nothing because nothing is what we have seen all month long and the, any rain that we do get going to be greatly appreciated, especially because as we go into the later half of this work week and into the weekend, we get back to that dry as well as that hot weather pattern. Temperatures are going to fall just a degree or two, but it is still going to be downright humid humid out there. So I actually made this meme myself this morning because it's exactly how I plan to be this afternoon praying for some of that rainfall because also inside because it's going to be a hot one once again today, Tasha.